That doesn't, I, w I will say this about gold. Uh, if you took all of the gold in the world, it would, it would roughly make a cube 67 feet on a side. So if you took all the gold in the world, we could have a cube that went down there 67 feet, uh -huh. 67 feet high, and that would be the whole thing. Now for that same cube of gold, it would be worth at today's market prices about $7 trillion. That's probably about a third of the value of all the stocks in the United States. So you could have a choice of owning a third of all the stocks in the United States, or you could have a choice of owning that little block of gold, which can't do anything but kind of shine there and make you feel like Midas or Croesus or something of the sort. Now, for $7 trillion, there are roughly a billion far acres of farmland in the United States. They're valued at about $2.5 trillion. It's about half the continental United States is farmland. Uh, you could have all of the farmland in the United States, you could have about seven Exxon Mobiles, and you could have a trillion dollars of walking around money. <laughs> and if you offered me the choice of looking at some 67 foot uh, cube of gold and looking at it all day, you know, maybe <laughs> touching it, fond fondling it occasionally, you know, and then saying, you know, do something for me. And it says, I don't do anything. I just stand here and look pretty. And, and, <laughs> and the alternative to that was to have all the farmland in the country, everything, cotton, corn, soybeans, seven Exxon Mobiles, just think of that, add a trillion dollars of walking around money. I, I, you know, maybe call me crazy, but I'll, I'll take the farmland <laughs> and the ExxonMobil's. <laughs> All right, that makes some sense. Carl, you've got a question too? I, I